It has been two years. Two long years. And in that time, I feel like people have forgotten a lot of things. But I don't forget. I never forget. People forget how to treat each other. How to feel and enjoy love. It is the two year anniversary, it's almost two years, whatever, of something very important to me. Let me bring you back to 2014. December of 2014. What's not to love? It's, it's Christmas time. Red and green lights adorn the scenery and love is in the air. But, of course, there are always problems. And I am the one to notice them. We need to talk about something. We need to talk about Merry Christmas Mordecai. Now, I know what you'll say, Sean, that was two years ago. Who cares? CJ wasn't even that good anyway. Fuck you. No, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even joking. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. If you don't remember, let me quickly bring you up to speed. Mordecai and Margaret, his bird lady friend, were finally seeming to get along together and fall in love. You know, and, you know, good for Mordecai. He'd spent years and years and years of him being a little bitch, but now he's finally trying, and it seems to be working out. But Margaret, of course, needs to move on. She has to go to college, and, I mean, you know... Whatever town they live in is some small, bumfuck little town. I mean, it has a community college. That's, that's not real college. Trust me, I've been to one. It's not a real college. So, she has to leave. And of course, Mordecai obviously makes sense. He would be sad and upset about that. But someone came into his life again. Someone who was much better, funnier, smarter, just, just better to be around. Cloudy J. CJ comes back, and of course it's weird at first, but eventually they find out that maybe the two of them can kind of work it out, and then, guess what? Now they're falling in love. Now they're going on dates and going on wacky adventures and hijinks, and it seems to be going pretty well. But then, guess what? Margaret's coming to town, and you know what? It, it shouldn't matter. Mordecai is with CJ. It should be fine, but of course he has to fuck it all up. Margaret and CJ are both at the Christmas party. And it seems like that, okay, fine, it's a little bit weird, but it seems like it's okay. You just introduce and be like, hey, Margaret, hi, you know, it's a little bit weird, but this is my girlfriend, CJ, and I love her, and I hope she loves me, and everything's good. We can still be friends, I guess, but, you know, that's fine. That's how a normal person would react. Of course, that's how I would react. But no, <laughs> he has to fuck it all up. He has to, he has to fuck it all up in front of the entire world to see, the whole party, everybody can see, including CJ, he decides to kiss Margaret. Yeah, not even like a quick, like a loving, just eh, oh, makes out with Margaret. Everybody can see, of course CJ can see. And, um, you know, that doesn't end well for anyone. I'm just tired of this shit. He broke my fucking heart. But worst of all, he broke CJ's heart. I know a lot of people have always been going on of like, No, Margaret should be with Mordecai because they're both birds. That's fucking racist, okay? How dare you say that they can only be together because they're birds? What, is Cloudy J not okay because she's a fucking cloud? Fucking pigs? Fucking... <laughs> pigs? Fucking Benson's a goddamn gumball machine. Who the fuck's a gumball machine? Jesus. Fucking Christ. Fuck. And look, I know that everybody loves Margaret. And I'm not saying she's bad. She's not a bad person. She's cool, I guess. But, but CJ, she was like my everything. She's like cool, and she plays video games, and she cracks jokes, and she's like... You know, she's just... She's... You wanna know what this is really about? I love her. I love CJ. I should have been with CJ because if I was there, none of this would happen. I would have never treated her like that. She would know what it means to be with a guy who truly loves her. I would love her with all of my heart. <laughs> we would do everything together, but it wouldn't be weird. Mordecai, you know, <laughs> fuck him. What's even the point anymore? 
It's been two years. It's been two years since the love has died. And I just don't know if I can live on anymore. I've tried. But every Christmas, it's the same. It's happening again. It's coming. The songs are playing in the stores and the lights are coming up. And it reminds me of the day that love died. And when love is dead, what really is there to live for anymore? <laughs> I just need to play this song, okay? <laughs> I just... People need to know. <laughs> Today is gonna be the day and they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you're showing somehow in your life what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Baby, you gotta be the one that saves me. And after 